Today I'm going to critique the Google Play Store. Now in my mind, the purpose of the Play Store is to help you find things you don't already have installed that you might like to install. So let's pretend that I want to install a new game. And so I choose some search terms, and here we have match three games. Is there anything actually useful in this set of results? The answer is pretty much no. The only thing that differentiates each result is the icon for the game. Now you might think, well, there's a lot more displayed here. Isn't that going to be useful? Well, not really. So every one of these things is going to be a match three game. It's going to be casual. It's going to be puzzle. It's got the name of the company that makes it. That's, I guess, mildly useful. You've got the number of stars that's been assigned. You'll notice that those are all the same. And then you have the number of installations, which I think is pretty much worthless. So really, there's nothing useful here. These all are pretty much the same results. We're pretty much the same words going with those results. The only thing to choose based on is the icon. And I, I don't know about you, but I think that choosing a game based on its icon is pretty much like choosing a book based on its cover. So let's say we tap through to one of these things. And here we have the details. Hopefully here they can present some actual information. But honestly, I don't think they present much. Probably the most useful thing is the screenshots of the game. Thank goodness they still show you those. But look at how much of the screen is devoted to showing you that. Hardly anything. Meanwhile, a ton is just given over to this part here, which basically just restates the title of the game and then restates the information you already had in the search results, the reviews, the downloads. That's pointless. Down here, we have the only text that developers allowed to put into this description that you're going to see on this first page. And it's a very short sentence. Google doesn't let you enter very much text here. And then I think the part that's truly criminal is how much space is devoted to data safety. This blurb here, which takes up almost as much space as the screenshots, is completely generic. This is the same on every single result that you click through on. And then this part down here, which seems like it might be useful telling you about how the game treats your data, well, that's provided by the developer. So if the developer's trustworthy, you don't care. And if the developer's untrustworthy, well, they can say whatever the fuck they want. What's the point? This is really stupid. Really, really stupid. What a waste of my screen. And look, it's basically filling up almost the full screen here before I get to something useful, which is the reviews. Now, I don't know about you, but as a developer, I find it pretty insulting that the reviewers get to say more than I do on the first screen. I think reviews are important. They definitely convey useful information. But as a developer, I ought to get to be able to say a full paragraph about what my app or game provides before you see what people think about it. But yet, we barely get even a full sentence. This is just a disaster. Basically, your only way to really find out what you're going to get is to install it. And I think that's really dumb. This is not maybe the worst possible way that this could work. You could literally just tap on the play icon and it would just choose for you what to install. But it's kind of like that because these search results, well, who knows how they're chosen. But since there's no way to choose amongst the different ones that you have here, pretty much you're probably just going to tap on like the second or third one that's returned and try installing it. So in the end, you probably are just getting whatever Google decided to show you. So they could just basically shortcut it all and just you tap on the Play Store and bam, Google's AI decides the best thing to install for you. Let's just say this could be designed a whole lot better.